Oh, America doesn't care about losing researchers and scientists to foreign universities. Oh, America is going to care in about that one decision from the U.S. driven by fear and racism change the entire global power balance. This idea that American citizens don't have the talent to do great things, that you have to import a foreign class of servants and, and, and uh, professors to do these things, I just reject that. The next wave of breakthrough technologies, quantum computing, AI breakthroughs, life-saving medical advances will come from China, not America. And it's not because China is stealing secrets, it's because America is literally handing over its best scientists. Today I'm reacting to clips that show this massive brain drain happening in real time, plus the hard data and names behind it. This is how superpowers fall. Oh, America doesn't care about losing researchers and scientists to foreign universities. Oh, America is going to care in about 15 years. That's about when the technologies of things that we can't even dream of are going to start coming to fruition in Chinese universities. See, there was a time when people could never even dream up something like MRIs or touchscreens, satellite navigation, quantum computing. But researchers and scientists developed those technologies in universities and then they later were mass marketed. So when you're sitting there and wondering why China is on the cutting edge of all new major discoveries and innovations in technologies and medical advancements, just know that it's because America gave up their seat at the table. See, the United States has essentially plucked the absolute best and brightest from around the world to come to our research universities and use their knowledge to develop new technologies and discoveries that have fueled the American economy for the last 80 years. And that's actually what's made America great. So at this rate, maybe we should give Trump a new motto, make China great again, because all he's doing is leaving the door open for China to step in and become the next world superpower. Make China great again. While the U.S. proposes cutting research funding by 22% overall and 34% for basic research, China just increased their R&D spending by 8.3% to half a trillion dollars. Shi Yi Yuan, an award-winning AI researcher who spent 20 years at Florida State, just took a chair position at China's Westlake University. Stanford PhD, NSF award winner, now building China's AI capabilities instead of America's. The 15-year prediction? It's already happening. Now here are some comments. I'm a professor of pathology at Emory. Trump is destroying our research. It will severely hurt us. China is now far ahead of us. They have already won. Ha 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 ha. China is already the world's superpower. Duh. China, Europe, and Canada will profit from this mess. My niece in Scotland tells me that foreign admissions are way up in our university. The USA is striving to bring back the 60s while China is striving for 2055. China has made uh, great uh, progresses. That's really big strides. And, uh, in many aspects, it surprised many people, including myself. Since the start of this year, dozens of rising and top scientists working in the United States have decided to take up full-time positions at Chinese institutions, according to a CNN count. Many are originally from China and have a range of reasons why they decided to take these new roles. But the moves come as the U.S. and China are locked in scientific competition. Now, as the Trump administration pushes to slash federal research funding while China ramps it up, Chinese institutions like Tsinghua, where Professor Liu took a full-time role earlier this year, stand to benefit. They want uh, their every department to be really strong and be able to, to compete in the world stage. The supporting systems are quite good, and if China can remain for another 5 to 10 years, I would predict that will attract more people for sure. For years, the U.S. has been a global hub for the world's best and brightest, including thousands of PhD students from China. But experts say if U.S. policy and funding towards science remains uncertain, that all could change. CNN says dozens, but the real number is staggering. Stanford research shows Chinese descent scientists leaving the U.S. jumped from 900 in 2010 to 2,600 in 2021, a 75% acceleration after the China initiative started. Two-thirds now go straight to China. And these aren't junior researchers. Wu Jingqi, former tech VP and AI chief scientist, joined Westlake University in March. Yuan Yuan, a mathematician with 20 plus years in the U.S., turned to China last month. At least 85 top scientists have made this move since 2024. Meanwhile, China just launched their K-Visa. No employer required, no job offer needed. Perfect timing as the U.S. makes H-1B visas cost $100,000. Push and pull. America's pushing, China's pulling. Now let's check out these comments. 
Drumming up xenophobic rhetorics and targeting Chinese academics and researchers. Hmm, what could go wrong? There's no competition. China is number one in technology. Brain drain from the U.S. is going to be problematic. China actually pays while we just give our money to Israel. U.S. is in a downward spiral, and the only people who haven't realized this is the MAGA cult. Let me tell you a story that the U.S. really doesn't want to talk about. In 1955, the U.S. government deported a Chinese scientist named Chen Shui-sen. He was top physics at Caltech, helped build the foundation of American rocketry, and contributed to the Manhattan Project. But during the Cold War and McCarthyism, they accused him without evidence of being a spy. They deported him back to China. Because what happened next? Within 10 years, Chen helped China build its first atomic bomb. In 15 years, China launched its first satellite. That one decision from the U.S., driven by fear and racism, changed the entire global power balance. Even a former U.S. Navy secretary admitted it was the stupidest thing the U.S. ever did. And now, in 2025, the U.S. is doing it again. Secretary of State Marco Rubio just announced plans to revoke visas for Chinese students, especially those in science, tech, engineering, and math. That's over 250,000 students. That's a quarter of the international student body in America. That's billions in tuition, research, innovation potential gone. And why? Same excuse as 1955. The mind steal our tech. Sound pretty much the same. Instead of one change reason, the U.S. now kicking out thousands of future scientists, engineers, and just like before, they'll go home. But this time, they'll go back to a very different China. A China leads in 5G with its own GPS system, invests billions in AI, semiconductors, and quantum computing. A lot of universities are panicking. Tech companies are worried. Why? Because Chinese students are the backbone of many STEM. Field in U.S., the field research labs, they help fund programs, they drive innovations in field where American is already falling behind. And now you are telling them to leave? Well, at least Canada and Europe are waiting. China is ready to welcome them home. The New York Times said it best: xenophobia will forever reshape the world order. But here's what they didn't say clearly enough: America is doing this to itself. This is not a crackdown on espionage. It's a self-inflicted wound, just like in 1955. Short-sighted paranoia is setting U.S. back, and once again, China will benefit. Kick out your future engineers, lose your grip on research. Watch the next generation of innovation happen elsewhere. And when China takes the lead in quantum computing or fusion power or biotech, don't act surprised, because history already warned you through Chen Shui-sen's story. And now you're repeating the same mistake. If you guys want to hear more story like this,、um, history blind spot pol- policy for our global power shift, I break it all down on my Substack. It's it's free to subscribe. Link in bio. Thank you guys. This story is a hundred percent true, but not a lot of Americans know it. Chen Shui-shen co-founded NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and helped America in World War II. But during the Red Scare, the U.S. accused him of being a spy without any evidence and deported him in 1955. A former U.S. Navy secretary called it the stupidest thing the country ever did. Why? Because within 15 years, Chen built China's entire missile and space program from scratch. And it's happening again. Now I'm going to butcher these names, so for all my Chinese subscribers, I'm sorry. Zhang Yitang, the mathematician. Who shocked the world by solving a 160-year-old prime number problem? Just left UC Santa Barbara for China this June. His reason: the political climate. The Chinese university was so worried about backlash, they waited until his plane left U.S. airspace before announcing his appointment. Same paranoia, bigger scale, worse consequences. Now let's check out some comments. In 2025, the Chinese students going abroad are the ones that can't get into top Chinese universities. Racist U.S. politicians never learn from history. Time for the Western world to apologize for USA's ignorance and turn towards East for future peace and development. The U.S. is on the descent, and China is on the ascent. Many countries of the global South are aligning themselves to China. China doesn't have to fight the U.S.; she just has to let it slide into irrelevance by revoking the Chinese student visa. This is really hurting the reputation of all the Ivy League and other schools, even when things go back to normal. Xenophobia is very real. The U.S. is crumbling from the inside. The corruption is codependent on the ignorance. 
Here's the bottom line. The next generation of breakthrough technologies will increasingly come from China, not America. Not because China is stealing talent, because America is actively pushing them away. 61% of Chinese descent scientists in the US are considering leaving. When you have Fields Medal level mathematicians and NSF award winners all making the same decision, that's not a coincidence. That's a trend. America had its position as the global innovation leader by attracting the world world's best minds. Now, they're choosing to switch off that magnet. Is this national security or national suicide? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more data-driven reality checks. And until next time, bye.